All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. I have just landed in Da Nang, central Vietnam, and I could not be more excited to eat my way through this wonderful city's cuisine. I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten all day. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, so there is one thing on my mind, and that's Bun Sao. Crispy turmeric stuffed Vietnamese pancakes. Now, we are coming down one of the back alleys in central Da Nang at one of the most famous Bun Sao shops in the whole of the city. Let's go. All right, so there's another Bun Sao shop here. There's another Bun Sao shop there, but we're going to the one at the end. All right, guys, this is it. It's okay. Okay. Up. Uh, Tada. Bát ruộng. Okay. Bánh xe bà dưỡng kia. Bà dưỡng. Okay. Bát. Bát dưỡng. Bát dưỡng. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. The place is absolutely packed. Everyone's covered in sweat. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. All right, guys. This place is looking legit. Apart from being laughed at because I can't pronounce the name properly, I think this is the spot. That's that pork liver. Sauce. All those lovely herbs and veggies. We've got the bun, grilled beef, lalop, lalop, okay, ba lalop. All right, so this is grilled beef with a beetle nut leaf or wild piper leaves. All right, so you've got one lady who is frying up the pancake batter, and you've got another lady that's filling up the pancakes when they're done. So you've got your pork, you've got your prawns, a little bit of bean sprouts. It's like a proper, proper military style operation in here. I wish you could hear this. I wish you could smell this. This is the cell, cell. So cell refers to the fact that it's sizzling. That's the noise it makes when, you, when it hits these cast iron pans. Okay. Oh look, she's grilling these up now as well. I've got back straight access. Just a little bit. They're going to kick me out. Oh look, it's done over charcoal as well. <laughs> All right, I'm base. I'm so in the way. I'm literally getting manhandled out the door here. The, the, that kid just literally pushed me out of the kitchen. Not a problem. I don't blame him. Right, let's try to order. Um, okay. What? 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 Thank you. So guys, as you can see, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I have no idea what I'm doing. I speak absolutely no Vietnamese. I can say about five words in Vietnamese as much as I try. But what I want to show you today, all of you non-Vietnamese viewers, or this just in general, wherever you go, don't be put off by going somewhere uh, where you don't think they're going to speak English because you're missing out. Like if I was too embarrassed to go and, well, embarrass myself like I just did, I wouldn't be able to show you this amazing food. So what I'm basically saying is I want to practice what I preach, get out my comfort zone for the next couple of days and just eat as much food as humanly possible. And I want you to do the same. All right, it's come. Look at these guys. We've got the Nem Lui. Pork grilled on a stick. So it's like minced pork seasoned with whole black peppercorns and grilled over coals, as you saw at the back. Then I've got what I was expecting to be daikon, carrots and daikon, but actually it's papaya or dudu, they call it here. So you can remember that easily, dudu. It's anything but. We've got our shaved cucumber, probably my favorite vegetable on the table. And then we've got our rice paper wraps 
So we're going to be wrapping up our bun cell in this and then all these lovely herbs. So we've got some, some Vietnamese balm, some Thai basil, lettuce, all sorts of different pieces. Oh, rice paddy herb. A little bit of rice paddy herb. Absolutely love this one. I just love this array of vegetables in general. All right, so he's just brought over the tip bot lalop. So grilled lemongrass beef with wild piper leaves. Oh, look at that. Right, next up we've got the bun hit, bun hit noon. So we've got cucumbers, we've got the bun, which is the fresh rice noodles. Then on top, we've got the same grilled beef that we've got over there with the lalop leaves. Peanuts, green mango, and a few herbs at the bottom with some chilies, etc., etc. And last but not least, we've got that delicious hoisin peanut pork liver sauce. All right, I like that the bun cell are already cut up because usually you have to cut them up with your chopsticks and I'm making an absolute mess of it. Right, so I'm gonna get one of my rice paper wraps. Now I've been watching everyone. Some people are putting these at the bottom. Some people are putting their lettuce at the bottom. So I'm just gonna put this at the bottom. All right, so you get your wrap. Little bit of lettuce, little bit of uh, fish wort, fish herb. I've got to get some of that rice paddy herb as well. What looks to be watercress, or some variation of. Yeah, I think that'll do me. Right, slice of cucumber. And a big dollop of that funky sauce. We're gonna dip again, don't worry. All right, and then we just wrap this up, if I can. like a spring roll. All right, one more dip in that sauce, and let's go. Mm. Wow, that, that sauce is incredible. So, so, so rich, so well seasoned. Mm. The pancakes themselves, super, super rich, super crispy. They're rich without being overly oily, but there is that richness there. And then that's cut with the freshness from this plate of fresh herbs. The main herb that I'm getting there is not for everyone, which is that fish wort, that fish herb. Some people say it tastes fishy, hence the name. I don't find it that fishy. It's got like a weird, like citrusy note on the back end, which I actually really, really like. All right, I'll wrap another one. As I said, people are doing this differently. I've been watching some people have been putting the lettuce in first. Some people put the lettuce on the top. I'm used to have, having just lettuce. I'm not used to having wraps um, when I'm in Vietnam. Saigon, every time I've eaten it, it's just been it's just been lettuce, big lettuce leaves or mustard green leaves. Now, I know my Vietnamese viewers will be telling me to take the stalks off the, off the herbs, but I just, I just can't be bothered. All right, in this one, I'm gonna put some of that, what I first thought was daikon, and then I thought might be green mango, which is actually pickled papaya. So I'm gonna put a load of that on. A few of these red chilies, take the stems off them. Everyone's looking at me funny. And we'll get a bit of cucumber as well. I've probably put too much in this one, guys. And we'll go virgin with this one. We'll dip this one into this sauce. All right, so roll from each corner. There we go. Have a dip. Mm. I'm no expert, but 
That is hands down the best bun sale I've ever had. I'm gonna just eat one without the uh, wrappers. Even the prawns with the shell on, that's not bothering me at all. Mm. Pork and prawns, absolute marriage made in heaven, as I keep saying on my channel. Yeah, if you eat them by themselves, because of all that oil, they're a little bit heavy, but wrap them up with all this herbage, etc, etc. That's phenomenal. All right, let's try this one here. Now, I probably didn't need to get this. So I didn't realize that it was the same beef that I ordered separately on the plate. So the only thing I've got in here that I haven't got on the plate are the the ball and the noodles. We'll try and get a bit of everything. Incredible. Mm. This is so different from the bun pit that I've had in Saigon. Saigon it usually comes with like a nook cham, the sort of sweet fish sauce, dipping sauce, whereas this has got that, that rich pork and hoisin liver sauce over the top. These noodles, if you've never had these before, the bun. Similar to Kanom Jin, uh, they have them in Cambodia, they have them in Thailand. They have them everywhere, basically, Myanmar. They're just a brilliant, brilliant vessel for any sauce, any flavor. Mm. That is everything you want. It is rich, it's slightly sour, it's fresh. You've got various different textures going on. That sourness coming through from the pickled papaya or doo doo they call it here. Wow. And that beef, that beef is exceptional. I think it's just been marinated in a little bit of fish sauce, some pepper. Mm. Lemongrass and some sugar. And that taste of the the, what people call beetle nut leaf, which is technically it isn't, but we'll call it a beetle nut leaf. It's a hard one to describe, it's sort of bittersweet. One of my favourite herbs or leaves in the world. Mm. Which is what I came to Vietnam for. Alright, last but not least, see, I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Last but not least, we're going to try the Nem Lui. Pork on a stick. Alright, I'll try one with nothing. Wow. Okay, so it's like a it's like a fatty pork sausage. Very, very salty. Ah. Oh, ultimate beer snack that. Ah, oh, but then it's spiked. Wow. It's spiked with whole whole peppercorns, whole black peppercorns. So you get like a nice sort of deep heat coming off them. I'll dip one in this in this pork there. It's one of the best things I've ever eaten on a stick. And I've eaten a few things off a stick. All right, so I guess I didn't really need to order the tip bot lolot. Excuse my pronunciation, guys. Um, because I had it in the, in the bun, but we will try it anyway. got little crushed peanuts going through it as well through the marinade so it's almost like a satay kind of vibe but with that lemongrass you got like that zestiness load of garlic oh wow mm. 
again, so much going on here. I don't think this would be the most tender. Bit of beef if you had it as a steak, but where they've cut it so finely, then grilled it, and it's been marinated for at least a few hours, I'm guessing. It's really tenderized the meat. The, the flavor of those beetle nut leaves, you can see that char on the back as well. The flavor of these beetle nut leaves is absolutely incredible. I feel sorry for anyone living in the West that can't get hold of these. Mm. This dip is incredible. It's one of the, mo I don't like using the word umami, but it's one of the most savory things I've ever eaten in my life. I could eat this with a spoon. You've got that sweetness and that kind of, like that sweet bean flavor coming through from the hoisin, and then the richness from that pork liver. Roasted peanuts in there, that is insane. I wonder if they do this in a bottle. I didn't realize there was a family photo going on behind me, I feel bad now. I cannot believe how packed this place is on a Tuesday afternoon. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday and this place is absolutely packed. Families on nearly every table. I don't know if it's a holiday today, but full of Vietnamese people. No other white is in here apart from me. And um, for somewhere so famous, usually you know me, I'll be trying to scour the back streets, although this is down a back street, but I'll be trying to find places that aren't that famous. But this place has definitely, definitely, definitely lived up to the hype. So as good as the Ban Xiao are, and they are phenomenal, especially with this doodle, the pickled papaya, absolutely incredible. My favorite thing on the table is definitely the Bun Tit. Bun Tit Nung, Bun Tit Nung. That one's for you, Vu. Yeah, and, the, and just the tip ball, the grilled beef, absolutely phenomenal. I like the sausages as well. I do love the Ban Xiao, but that beef is absolutely, the marinade on it is insane, but, I'd say the best thing about this whole meal is the sauce. Bye. 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 Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, guys, that was absolutely incredible. Um, I have been defeated. I've had to take some of it home. I've still got three pieces of the bun sal left. Oh, what nice people, what friendly people. That has just lifted my spirits at no end. I got off the plane this morning. You know what it's like, you come out of the airport, everyone's on you. I'm like, I'm trying to find my hotel, my room wasn't ready. Um, I don't speak the language, but all you've got to do is get out, have something to eat in one of these lovely little backstreet places and everything just magically feels better. So guys, that's it for the first part of our Da Nang series we'll be having five six seven videos don't you worry about that later on i'll be going out and trying two dishes that foreigners just cannot eat so stay around for that links for that will be in the description box below thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next one